Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 10. That is, what are the essentials of software testing? Let me answer. The following are the essentials that are required to perform software testing. Let me explain all this for you now. There are mainly six essentials to perform software testing. The first essential is test strategy. Test strategy is the first essential. So what is this test strategy? Test strategy is all about approach. Guys, okay, what is your approach for testing? How differently you're going to perform testing? Every company has its own approach or way for performing the testing, the complete process or approach you can say, okay, where you can include the best practices, the differentiators and all those stuff, how optimized you're going to perform testing. I don't want to dig deep, but it's an approach guys, okay? What is your strategy? What is your approach for performing the testing? Okay, that is what is test strategy. Then next one is test plan. You see, before you do something, you need to plan, right? For example, in the real world, if you want to construct a building, you cannot directly construct the building, right? First, you have to prepare a plan, okay? You have to prepare a plan. You have to think about how many days, who, how many workers are going to work on that, who you are going to give the contract for. A lot of things are there to plan before you start actual construction of that building. In simple words, okay? In software, also same thing, guys, okay? In software, also same thing. Here, we have to plan, okay? How you are going to perform software testing on the given application, you have to plan in advance. Like, who, which team is going to work? Who is going to be uh, working as which role? Okay, is there any manager who will take care of the escalations? Uh, what are the deliverables? Like, um, what you are going to deliver as part of this uh, software testing? Then, uh, what are the artifacts that you are going to create as part of this process? Like, uh, then, what, what are the functionalities that are in scope, out of scope for this application? Then, uh, how are you going to report the defects? Or it can be scheduled, like uh, at what time you're going to uh, start and finish up the works, that schedule kind of things. Okay, then what are the different roles and uh, responsibilities uh, between uh, the client and the company uh, and the software testing team and uh, many other stuff, guys. Okay, a lot of like this. Okay, so we'll plan in advance, guys. Okay? plan in advance so after test strategy we'll create a test plan okay so test plan will contain all this stuff like schedule uh, the order in which the work will be done and all those stuff okay so that is what is test plan now next thing coming to the third one we will create test cases right as part of testing we have to create test cases you see if you take one functionality for example if you are testing just one functionality like login functionality for that login functionality, we have to create test cases, guys. Okay. So we in a document or in a tool, okay. If if the company provides a tool to create the test case, we will create a test case inside the tool, or if uh, we can also create the test case inside a document like Excel files and all those stuff. Okay. So for a login functionality, there can be multiple test cases possible. Okay, positive and negative test cases, and many test cases are possible. Login with valid credentials, okay. Login with invalid credentials, login with valid username, invalid password. Login without providing the credentials. Login with uh, invalid username and valid password. Okay, so reset the password and try to log in. If you keep on thinking, guys, lot of test cases will come. Okay, log in without using your mouse. Only by using keyboard you have to log in. Okay, like that. Many. Okay, log in from different um, environments. Okay, different test environments, not in a single environment. Like that, many things are possible, guys. For a single functionality, multiple test cases are possible. So here, as part of test cases, we will draft the uh, our test ideas for testing the each and every functionality of the application that is there in scope as part of the test cases. Guys. Okay. Later, after we create the test cases, we have to run these test cases so that we'll the test case will either pass or fail. If the test cases passes, no problem. If the test cases fails, okay, as per the given requirements, we we'll create these test cases. And while testing the test cases, if one test case is uh, one or uh, one or few test cases are not actually according to the requirements and uh, they have be behaving differently from the expectations then we are going to report the defects right so that's what is the role of the test cases in testing then next one test strategy test plan test uh, cases then what else we have in the testing essentials uh, we have 
next one as test data guys okay test data you see we should not uh, give less importance to test data guys test data plays a very important role okay it plays a very big role in testing okay so you see if you are using a normal data or something right uh, if you if are just uh, preparing the data on the fly and performing the testing what happens you may get some results okay you may think that the application is working fine tomorrow if you get some other type of data if you give some other type of data which is generally used in real time what happens is you will you will get some defects guys okay so there is a possibility that by changing the test data there is a possibility of getting the defects guys okay because you, it may seem that the application functionality is working fine the moment if you give try to give good amount of data to the application there is a possibility that because of that uh, new new type of test data the application functionality which was working fine may fail guys okay so we have to give good importance to test data preparation okay while performing testing okay simply testing doesn't matter okay giving the proper data while testing is important guys uh, especially if you can give the realistic data okay which can be which uh, the users will use the application in real time right the type of the data that users generally enter during the real time uh, where they actually use the application right that kind of data if you are able to prepare okay we, we will be able to find most of the defects then next one is test environments okay test environments test environments Test environments are also important, guys. Okay, testing is just in, uh, for example, if an application is given to you and that application, if you are simply testing in one browser, that's not enough, guys. Okay, because the not everyone will open that. For example, you are testing an application Chrome browser, right? And uh, everything is passing, so you cannot conclude that uh, the application is uh, application functionality is working fine and testing is complete. We cannot say that, guys. Okay, because every application uh, need to be tested in all the supported environment because in real time the users will not only use a given application in only chrome browser they may use in firefox browser some people will use in opera browser some people will use in edge browser some people will use in ie browser safari browser and so on okay so as software testers we need to cover all the test environments okay we need to test the application in all the test environments guys, okay so that's why it's it's not just browsers guys it's all about the operating systems okay for example you are in, uh, yeah, if you are testing some desktop software the desktop software can be installed in windows mac linux different flavors of linux and so on you see each and everything each and every variation is a test environment okay it can be browser version change browser different browsers or operating system different versions of operating system different type devices sometimes you have to test an application in mobile device sometimes you have to test in desktop okay some uh, that is laptops and all those stuff different type of desktops so it's a very big story guys test environments okay test environments we have to make sure our application is working in all the supported test environments that uh, generally the real public is going to use okay fine then the last one the last testing essential is application itself guys okay application under test without application how can we perform testing right application under test so test strategy test plan test cases test data test environments and application under test okay so if you don't have the application ready for testing how can we perform testing that's why i'm saying application under test is a testing essential okay so these are the testing essentials guys uh, that are required for performing software testing okay the strategy test plan test cases test data test environments and application under test so hope guys you got the answer for this question so in the next session i'm going to answer another interview question on software testing till then see you bye